Hey everybody, my name is Jordan, welcome to the channel. So today I've got a video for you guys how and why I bought my Martin GPC. This is my main songwriting guitar, my main uh, you know worship leading guitar or gigging guitar, whatever it is. This is the one I use, this is the one I play uh, when I'm all the time. This is the one I play all the time and I wanted to kind of share this guitar with you. So I bought this guitar after saving for a few months. This cost me $900, which for a rosewood back and sides, very pretty, made in the United States um, in Nazareth, Pennsylvania. This was a pretty good deal. How I got to the conclusion I wanted a Martin GPC was because I couldn't find a tailor um, with a rosewood back and sides. So a 414, I couldn't find a 414 for um, as inexpensive as I could find a Martin. I've been looking at the Martin GPC 16, which is the current model. This one is the older model. And I thought this was a 16 when I bought it, um, but it worked out good. This is a good guitar. I almost sold it a couple of times. Um, and I've had the uh, saddle re-glued, or the bridge re-glued, excuse me, uh, once so far. I need to get the frets redone, but this is a good guitar. And if you're looking for a an inexpensive rosewood made in the USA. Look into the Martin GPC 16 series and the PA4, I believe, is the other model. I might be wrong about that. Don't get mad at me if I'm wrong about that. Um, these are good guitars. This is the guitar that I plan to keep for years and use it as a singer-songwriter. So some of its strengths and some of its weaknesses. This guitar does really well for anything mild. It has a very mild tone. It does not have the attack or attitude of a triple O. It does not have the twang or boom of a dreadnought like a D18 or even a jumbo like a J45 would have. This guitar sits kind of right in the middle. So for a lot of people, this would not be the right guitar. For me it is because I cross over so many different genres and this is pretty much the only acoustic I have that's worth playing right now. Um, I would like to get some more acoustic guitars in the future just because I like them, I think they're super cool. But for right now, this is my only guitar, so it works good because I can cross over to other genres without being invasive with the tone I'm using. So, that's one of its strengths. The built-in electronics are definitely amazing uh, for gigging or for leading worship. Super nice to be able to just plug in and just go with it. So these have the output jack on the back is not over the strap button, which I like that. It's just kind of inconvenient when it's over the strap button. I don't know why, but I don't like it, okay? Personal preference there. Uh, some of its weaknesses. Like I said, it has a really mild tone. I would love to have something that did the triple O sound really well, like a real triple O, or the dreadnought sound really well, like a real dreadnought. Sometimes those are the tones I wanna get. So that's why this guitar is not perfect for a lot of people. Um, the other thing, it has a really wide neck. I believe it's an inch and three quarters. And for some people, that is just a huge adjustment. For me, I've been playing on smaller necks for years. And so I got to this uh, inch and three quarter inch neck and um, it threw me off for about a month straight. I could not stand this neck. After about a month and a half to two months, I started to be okay with it. And at this point, I love it, but it was a really hard switch for me because I've been playing necks that were so much smaller for such a long time. So once again, this is not gonna be perfect for everybody, especially people with smaller fingers that have a hard time reaching all of the strings. Um, this is just not gonna work for. But for me, it really does work. Um, I did put up another video on my other YouTube channel. I'll link that video in the description below if you want to see it, uh, my review in the context of a gigging guitar player and just kind of some things that you're going to think through. I do think price point for these, they are pretty good value. They are pretty good. They're pretty good quality being made by Martin, being made in the United States. They're not perfect. They're not nearly as good as if you were to get something you know, that was maybe a thousand dollars more, you'd get quite a bit, um, quite a bit of a quality step up in my opinion, but I still think they're great. I think the 
road series that I've played because I played a road series um, 11 that was a custom. It had serious serious back and sides and a Sitka spruce top that had a really good tone and just some other models that they have put out have got really good tone, really good aesthetics. So uh, just the way they look is great. Um, but as far as this guitar for me, I think I'll have this for years. I think I'll have this for the rest of my life. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. And uh, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please uh, give it a thumbs down if you didn't and tell me what you did or didn't like in the comments below. That'd be awesome. If you did enjoy it, if you like my YouTube channel, uh, please subscribe. It'd be great to have you around for another couple of videos. So we'll see you later. Have a great day and uh, yeah, take care.